Since living in New York City, I've uncovered a certain type of place that I call a cute little spot. What defines a cute little spot? It's independently owned, mom and pop, or just a smaller local business. It's cute, it's little, and most importantly, it's a spot. For today's edition, I'm showing you my favorite cute little spots in Nolita, since it's one of the coolest up and coming neighborhoods in Manhattan, and it's a neighborhood that I live in, and I know it like the back of my hand. If you guys like this, I might make it a series, so make sure you subscribe and comment down below if you enjoy any of these cute little spots. I'm breaking this down into three different categories, shopping, restaurants and cafes, and attractions. Butler Randall, cute little spot. Majuri, cute little spot. Isolin, cute little spot. Cezanne, cute little French spot. Bash, another cute little French spot. Leilavo, cute little spot. Malin and Getz, cute little spot. Jeptique, cute little spot. Little Cupcake Bake Shop, cute little spot. Prince Street Pizza, cute little spot. Soho Garden, cute little bodega spot. Cafe Leon Door, cute little way too cool for me spot. Ruby's Cafe, cute little spot. Ruby Rosa, cute little spot. Cafe Jeton, cute little spot. Cafe Havana, cute little spot. Elizabeth Street Garden, cute little spot. First, we'll start with shopping. Loeffler Randall is a women's designer, mainly known for their shoes and handbags, but they also sell some women's clothing as well. They're the ones who are famous for these cute little pleated bow heels, and this is their first ever physical store location, and it's right here in Nolita. I love their white and pink bow sandals and their ballet flats, and they're super well made and so comfortable. Jury is a jewelry store. They are most well known for their minimalistic classic gold jewelry that are just the staple items to own. I love their concept of women buying diamonds for themselves, not waiting for a man to buy them jewelry. If you want it, just go for it yourself. It's the premium quality without a premium price and all the markups, so they're decently priced. A lot of the girls that I used to work with at Glossier work here now, so sometimes I get to see them when I go in. You have to come here and check out their stackable rings, bracelets, and earrings. Isolis is TikTok famous. It's a small boutique clothing store. They're very trend focused pieces, so they're constantly changing the store up every month with the latest styles. Gen Z loves this store, so it's got that early 90s, 2000s trend going on. The staff is super nice, and they have things like ankle jeans, cute summer tops, and cute accessories. Cezanne is on Elizabeth Street. It's a Paris-born clothing store with high quality pieces meant to outlive trends and last forever in your closet. They have cozy knitwear, timeless tops and dresses and the cutest accessories. in France than in the US. Bash is that go-to for that effortlessly cool girl chic look. Their pieces are meant to be worn from day to night, office to after work drinks. Just change your shoes and you're good to go. They're classic and feminine. My favorite pieces of theirs are their gorgeous maxi dresses and their tops for a perfectly dimly lit dinner. Le Labo is fine fragrances in personalized perfumes, candles, shampoo, and lotion. They have 17 fragrances, all unisex. The perfumes are actually made in house, which is cool. So you can go in, have a whole experience smelling and finding your perfect scent.
Malin and Goats is a natural skincare brand. Their philosophy is meant to uncomplicate your skincare routine. And their products are suitable for all skin types, all genders, and are locally made in the New York area. So they are eliminating their carbon footprint. Their stores are meant to be like a neighborhood apothecary and they have natural deodorants, which I think is cool, but they also have other skincare, body care, hair care, fragrance, candles, etc. Diptyque is technically a bigger brand, but I think it's cool that they have a little store here. They're a candle brand, but their candles are top quality from France. They're developed carefully with raw materials, so the production is only done in small batches. A lot of girls will reuse the glass candle jar for their makeup brushes or other cute things around their apartment. So, lovely spot if you like candles. This is probably the cutest of cute little spots. It's on the corner of Prince and Mott. The Little Cupcake Bake Shop has cupcakes, cookies, ice cream, pies, bars, anything your little heart desires. I love their checkered floors and their old ceilings. There's just something cozy about it and it has good vibes. Cafe Leon Door is a clothing store with a cafe attached. There's always people here that look really cool and I don't know what it is about it, but they have outdoor little seating. Just grab a coffee here and a pastry. You could sit with a friend or alone and just people watch and enjoy a few minutes. The best thing on their menu is their Fredo Cappuccino, which is a frothy iced espresso drink. I couldn't leave this one off the list. Prince Street Pizza is a go-to for a quick slice of pizza. I say quick, but this place draws really long lines because it's so good. They're famous for their pepperoni, but I think their plain cheese is just as good. It's a little greasy, but it's delicious. Ruby's Cafe is a go-to brunch spot. It's on Mulberry Street, right across from Cafe Leon Door and steps away from Majuri. They have a few of these in Manhattan, but the one in Nolita is very small. It always has good food and it's always filled up with tons of people no matter the day of the week. Ruby Rosa is known as one of the best pizza pies in New York City. It also has a selection of other amazing Italian food. It's perfect for date night or even dinner with the parents. I recommend getting the tie-dye pizza. Also, if you're gluten-free, they have some great options too. Cafe Jatan is on Mott Street. It's described as an IT downtown cafe. It's kind of like a place to see and be seen. <laughs> they have Moroccan food, so yeah, just come here, sit outside, and enjoy some delicious couscous. Cafe Habana is more of a hidden spot that Nolita locals love for a quick bite to eat. It's Cuban-Mexican food, and I recommend the grilled corn and the tacos, but anything is good here. Everyone's gotta have their local bodega. Mine is Soho Garden. It's your one-stop shop for snacks, flowers, the occasional late night ice cream run. It has lots of character and it's important to support these local businesses. The last category is attraction, so I have one little cute attraction to show you in the area. Elizabeth Street Garden is a community sculpture garden. 
It's open to the public and is one of the few slash only spots of greenery in Nolita. Come here for a lunch break during work or just to sit and read a book. Pretend you're living in Bridgerton and enjoy the flowers. And that's it for the cute little spots in Nolita. If there were any that you loved that I left off of the list, let me know in the comments below which ones you loved too. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out The Fashion Squirrel on Instagram and The Fashion Squirrel without the L on TikTok. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.